Hello friends, welcome to today's video. So today also we are going to deal the same circuit that we have discussed in the last session. But in the last class, the circuit was solved using mesh analysis method. Today we solve the same circuit using superposition theorem. Anyway, we are going to, we have the answer in our hand. We are going to arrive at the same answer. Let's see. So in order to use superposition theorem, the circuit must contain more than one source, whether it is voltage or current source, circuit must contain more than one source. So, so we have 6 ampere current source, then we have got a 10 volt source, then we have got uh, 2 Vx. This is a special source. What is it? It is a dependent current source. What dependent? Voltage dependent current source. Okay. So, for these three sources, uh, we must draw the circuit. We have to redraw the circuit consisting of the source alone. And in, uh, for time being, we have to remove the other source. Like for 6 ampere current source, let's retain the 6 ampere and just remove this 10 volt and 2 voltage. So, basically, how to remove? In order to remove a current source, just open circuit it. And in order to remove a voltage source, short circuit it. Fine. So, let us draw this circuit containing the 6 ampere alone. Here is a voltage source. So, let us short it. Here is your 4 ohms. And the current source is opened. 10 ohm is here. See, I am directly going to reduce this parallel combination of 2 and 5 to 2 into 5, 10 by 2 plus 5, 7, 10 by 7 ohms. Okay. I am going to connect between this point and this 4. So, here we have the 10 by 7. Let's Again, this can be reduced because we have a combination of 10 by 7 parallel 4. 10 by 7 parallel to 4 is 10 by 7 into 4 that is 40 by 7 divided by 10 by 7 plus 4 is 38 by 7 which is 40 by 38 ohms that goes for this resistor and 6 ampere is coming on to here and gets splitted into 2 ok so let us find the current over here uh, let us name it as IA. Okay, and this IB or anyway, no need of IB to be noted. So, IA is equal to main current. 6 is getting split. Up. So, 6 into main current into opposite branch resistance which is 10 ohms divided by opposite branch resistance plus the resistance value in the considered branch. Okay, the branch which through which its current should be found out. So, it is 40 by 7, sorry, 40 by 38 plus 10. Okay, the formula, I will write it down here. Main current, that is current through branch A is equal to main current, which is getting splitted into opposite branch resistance divided by opposite branch plus resistance in branch A. Okay. So, solving this out, we get 57 divided by 20 ampere. Okay. Next, see 57 by 20 ampere is going through this 10 ohms, this uh, 40 by 38 ohms, isn't it? So, 57 by 20 is income. And you know what? Our main aim is to find Vx in the circuit, isn't it? So, according to superposition theorem, we have to find individual Vx that is dissipated in this 4. Okay, for 6 ampere resistance, a certain amount of voltage will be dropped across this 4. So, but 
as we have reduced this to a very simple circuit, we have now lost this 4 ohm resistance, isn't it? 4 ohm is included in this 40 by 38 ohms. So, let us split again this 40 by 38 in order to get our 4 ohms back. What is that? 4 is beneath and 10 by 7. Okay. Now, again let us find out the current which is passing through 4 ohm resistor using the main equation, uh, uh, previous equation that I have written. That is main current into opposite branch resistance. See, here this 57 by 20 gets scripted into these two resistors. So, what is the opposite branch resistance? It is 10 by 7 divided by opposite branch plus branch which is under considered resistance that is 4. Okay. So, here then we get 3 by 4 ampere. Okay. So, 3 by 4 ampere is flowing through this 4 ohm. 3 by 4 ampere. So, what is the voltage? Voltage across this 4 ohm is equal to 3 by 4 into 4 which is equal to 3 volt. Okay. And make sure that you mark the polarity for each steps in the superposition theorem. That is here the voltage drop is 3 volt but since the current flows from left to right, left side must have positive and this is negative. See just like which is marked in the question. So, here positive minus is marked uh, as such in the question itself. So, it is 3 volt, positive 3 volt because we maintain the same polarity that is given in the question. If in case the current is in the reverse direction, we have to mark a negative 3 volt. Okay, so anyway, the voltage drop that is got using the 6 ampere alone is positive 3 volt. Now, next, let us maintain this 10 volt and remove the other sources. We have to remove the 6 ampere, so it is a current source, so just open it. Here is your 10 ohm. 10 volt is kept as such. Open circuit this current source. Even if it is a dependent current source or independent current source, while removing it, just open circuit it. Again, 2 and 5, I make it as 10 by 7 ohms. Okay. Redrawing, also point in keeping this as such, just remove it down, here also. Let us have a circuit neat and clean. Fine, so this is the simplified version. Now we have to find the current through this 4 ohm due to this 10 volt alone and that current in the 4 will give you the voltage drop across 4 ohms. Okay, so. I think 10 ohms and 10 ohms are connected in series back to back. So, again 10 ohm and 10 ohm becomes 10 plus 10 that is 20 ohms. Okay. Now, again you can see if I mark this point as A, this point as B. See which are the points to which this 10 by 7 ohms is connected A and B. Which are the points for this 20 ohm is connected that is also A and B which means 10 by 7 is parallel to 20 ohm which gives 10 by 7 into 20 that is 200 by 7 divided by 10 by 7 plus 20 is 140, 150 by 7 that is 200 by 15 sorry 200 by 150 that is going to be 4 by 3 ohms. Okay, so again I can remove this and keep it as 4 by 3 ohms. Okay, now let us see the net current that is going through this 4 ohm. Net, uh, net current which is given out by this 10 volt is the same which is going through 4 ohm, isn't it? So, 10 volt divided by 4 plus 4 by 3 ohms. 10 volt divided by 4 plus 4 by 3 is 10 divided by 16 by 3 which is 30 by 16 ampere is the current which is passing through 4. 
okay so voltage what is that voltage drop across 4 ohm is equal to 30 by 16 into 4 which is 30 by 4 voltage which is 15 by 2 volt which is 7.5 volt again mark the polarity since the current flows from left to right you have positive minus here so this is your vx due to this 10 volt alone and just match with the circuit in the crystal here positive minus and positive minus are equally matched so we have positive 7.5 volt itself fine Now, next source is this 2Vx. Okay. Let's redraw the circuit. Since we have a Vx now marked in the circuit, let's mark the Vx here also. So, However, we solve the circuit and find the voltage across 4 ohms, we will get it as Vx itself. Okay, we will get it as Vx voltage itself, voltage drop across 4 ohm. Okay, because Vx has, the term Vx has some importance in the circuitry. So, in whichever method we solve, the voltage drop across 4 ohm will be Vx itself. Okay, so it is going to be Vx itself, but see here there is a problem. There is the current that is given out by this current source pass through this way and gets split to this way, this way, and this way because this is the main source of the current. Okay, so the current flow is from right to left, which means here negative positive will be interchanged, which means it is actually negative. Vx. The voltage drop will be negative Vx because the direction says so. Okay. So, anyway, we have got all the voltage individually from each sources. So, now let's, according to superposition theorem, we have to add all together considering its sign. Let's add it all up. So, in the question, it is given that 4 ohms voltage drop is Vx. So, the total voltage drop is Vx. And Individually, for individual sources, the voltage drop is first is positive 3, next is positive 7.5 and the last one is negative Vx. Solving it up, 2Vx is equal to 10.5, Vx is equal to 10.5 divided by 2 which is 5.25 volt. You can verify this answer using the previous video also. Thus, you have come to know that any circuit can be solved using any methods that you have studied. Okay, just realize which one is easier for you and proceed with it. We will meet in the next class. This is Minu signing off. Thank you and take care.